Hello everyone, this is Cheryl Hendricks, the school counselor at Smith Elementary for our Counselor's Corner for the month of November. Well, we are still talking about social IQ, social intelligence, and emotional intelligence. And that's kind of hard to explain, but some of the things we're going to be working with the kiddos on are understanding our feelings so that we can then understand other people's feelings. Um, we'll be working on conflict resolution. We surely have times where uh, problems come up between even good friends, so how to solve those. And it's kind of like, do you know how to read a room? Do you know that if everybody is sitting around with a sad look on their face, and that's not the time to probably come in and brag about your new present that you got? So we kind of work on that social intelligence for the next couple of weeks. Uh, this month, for guidance lessons, we're talking a lot about the brain. I think I told you about this book, Your Fantastic Elastic Brain. We're sharing that with all the students. I've already started. We're even showing them things like how your brain can be like a rubber band ball. It's very elastic and you're constantly making connections. Um, we tell them that they are in the magic decade right now, from birth to 10 years old their brain is growing the fastest and, and learning the most and they're making those great connections. This brain that we're learning about leads us to the growth mindset and the fixed mindset and you can see behind me I've got a big brain here and even in kindergarten they are able to uh, grasp that a growth mindset accepts mistakes and is not embarrassed and keeps learning where a fixed mindset like a rock um, says, oh, I don't even want to try, I can't do this, it's too hard. So we are really talking about the growth mindset. I want to show you one thing that I'm teaching all the kids. It's called the hand model of the brain. So you just put your hand like this, tuck in your thumb, cover it up. So this represents your brain. Here's the brain stem. We talk about the upstairs brain. It really uses judgment and makes good decisions. And the downstairs brain is where more of our feelings are kept. And it's important to have feelings, but sometimes if we let the feelings lead our decisions, you flip your lid, you've heard that before, so we're showing them be careful, don't flip your lid and let your emotions make bad decisions for you. So let your kid explain the hand model of the brain this month. And the last thing I wanted to talk about for this month's Counselor Corner is next month we will be talking about uh, bullying how there's different parts and that the bystander has a very important part and we really want our bystanders to be upstanders who stand up for the right way so everybody feels safe at Smith Elementary. Thanks very much.